always a rainbow within reach on animal song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C, Next time, won't you sing with me? Now this time, let's sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time, won't you sing with me? That was lovely. Hello, friend. It's so good to see you. Nice to see you too, Mr. Goose. And look what I have in my backpack. This is called a banjo. Mr. Frog, you just used the letter of the day. Did I? Yes, the letter B. B makes the sound B in banjo. Listen, B, B, banjo. B, B, banjo. Now you try. B, B, banjo. Isn't it beautiful? I heard the letter of the day again. Yes. Beautiful also begins with B. B, B, beautiful. That's exactly right. Here are more things that begin with B. Boat. B, B, boat. Boy. B, B, boy. <laughs> <laughs> ball b b ball bike b b bike <laughs> bubbles b b bubbles <laughs> What letter do all these words start with? B. That's right. The letter B. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter B. 
B. Who can think of a fun way to do it? Let's make letters in the sky with clouds. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Hedgehog, show us how. Okay. Great! I'll trace the next one. Hmm. B. Terrific tracing. Now. Let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try next. B. Ah. Nice job. I want to try. <laughs> It. Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? B. Exactly. Uppercase B. And what's this letter? B. That's right. Lowercase B. Nice job. Wow! Wow! Cool. Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. B. Letter Safari. Let's find some beginning letter sounds. Oh, look! Hedgehog has maracas. Mm, mm, maracas. Mm. Mm, maracas. <laughs> Do you hear that? Maracas begins with M. Mm, mm, maracas. <laughs> Monkey has a triangle. T, t, triangle. T, t, triangle. What letter makes the beginning sound in triangle? T. <laughs> That's right. T, t, triangle. <laughs> Pig is playing a keyboard. Oh. <laughs> k, k, keyboard. K, k, keyboard. What letter do you hear? K. Cool. <laughs> and Mr. Frog has a banjo. B, b, banjo. B, b, banjo. What letter do you hear? B. That's right. Let's listen to the beginning letters again. Mm, mm, maracas. What's that letter? M. T, t, triangle. What's that letter? T. Keyboard. What's that letter? K. B, b, banjo. What's that letter? B. 
Let's put these four letters in our learning book. Say each letter with me. M. <laughs> T. <laughs> K. <laughs> B. All right. Let's make music. Story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called "Why Is Nita Upside Down." In this story, a little girl named Nita feels like she doesn't fit in. I wonder why. Well, let's read and find out. Let's begin. Why is Nita upside down? Written by Emma Hearn, Roxana Bauer, and Sarah Bauer. Illustrated by Sarah Bauer. Nita's hanging upside down. Her long hair tickling at the ground. The trees, the grass, the everything is all the wrong way round. Her feet they poke into the sky. Little Navi is walking by. He says, "I've seen you here before. You're upside down again. What for?" Her feet swim lightly in the air. She tries to hide behind her hair. It's hard to t -t talk. She says to him, "I'm not the same. I don't fit in." Navi takes her by the hand. He wants to help her understand. They climb to Navi's lookout spot. From up here, they can see a lot. They perch and have a quiet stare at children playing here and there. Those kids are not the same at all. Abe's round. Cheese freckled, Layla's extra tall. Bam Bam's wild and must run free, while Lulu reads quietly. Look at Freya's crazy hair, and Tim wears glasses everywhere. And me, I am just skin and bone, and you are you. You're not alone. Each human's sort of strange, you see. That makes you just the same, like me. This world is really one big game. To play, we can't all be the same. Nita feels the right way round, thanks to the new friend she's found. Upside down was never fun. Now, she plays with everyone. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me, kids. It's time for a sing along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Speckled Frogs." Frogs. Oh, like you, Mr. Frog. That's right. Today you can all pretend to be frogs. Yay! <laughs> I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many frogs did I say there were? Five. Good listening. Here we go. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum! 
One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Now I want you to all sing along with me. I want to hear you sing too. How many frogs are there now? Four. Four little speckled frogs sat on the speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. How many? Three. Three little speckled frogs sat on the speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum. Nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. How many? Two. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. How many? One. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum! He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Well done! Yay! Thank you for singing with me, and thank you too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. <laughs> Hi, Fox. What are you doing? I'm making patterns. Look, I'm making a design with apples and bananas. Apple, banana. Apple, banana. Apple, banana. Apple. What comes next? Uh, I'm not sure. A banana. Let's say the names of each thing together. Apple, banana. Apple, banana. Apple, banana. Apple, banana. Oh, I see the pattern. I hear it too. Apple, banana. Oh, can I help you make another pattern? Sure. Let's make another pattern with these same things. Apple, banana, banana. Apple, banana, banana. Apple, banana. What comes next? Banana. <laughs> you got it. Let's say it together. Apple, banana, banana. Apple, banana, banana. Apple, banana, banana. What's the pattern? Apple, banana, banana. <laughs> That's it. Oh, can I make a pattern? Sure. Banana, banana, apple. Banana, banana, apple. Banana, banana. Do you know what comes next? An apple. That's it. All together. Banana, banana, apple. Banana, banana, apple. Banana, banana, apple. Can I borrow your glue stick, please? I want to glue these down. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Banana, banana, apple. Banana, banana, apple. Banana, banana, apple. All done. Do you want to make another pattern? No, I want to go and tell Miss Panda. Miss Panda! Miss Panda! I need a pattern! <laughs> Bye, Hedgehog! See you later! Bye, friends! See you!
you later, too. <laughs> <gasps> Look what I see! A wiggle bug! Let's watch it bounce! Let's pretend to be wiggle bugs too! A bling a bling a bling a bling a bling a And now, it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong.